is just real quick, um, this year, we went back to basics uh, in our club program. And what that means for us is, um, I just realized, Brandon, I'm using the microphone and not the pulpit mic, sorry. <laughs> but uh, maybe it's a good thing. What that means for us and the kids is taking it back to what, like, you know, Sunday school classes. You know, what, what are we learning? Um, the basics of our program is um, the Bible. What's in the Bible? There's stories in the Bible, all, all types of stories. And when we say the basics of it, we're talking like the, some of the stories that we've, we've learned growing up as kids, right? Okay, let's think about these. David and Goliath. I mean, that's a story that everybody probably has heard as a child, okay? So that was one of those that we wanted to bring in as a, le as a lesson. The story of Lazarus. There's a lot to be learned there. Um, and the kids, I think they feel like they, I feel like they enjoy some of those things. The reason I say that is because when I start, or Melissa, or Shannon, uh, or Wendy, or whoever's up there doing a lesson, they're going, oh, I heard, I remember this. I remember this. And then we got to tell them, hey, don't, don't spoil it. <laughs> you know, we got to tell them that some, some kids haven't heard this yet. So that, that's a great thing, you know, as a reminder to us. We also learned about controlling anger. Those are basics uh, growing up as, as a kid in Sunday school class, okay? Overcoming temptations. I think we all need that. But that's something that we, we try to instill in our, in our, in our children, okay? It's something they're going to they're gonna struggle with moving on into teen group, things like that, okay? The power of prayer. Wow. How important is the power of prayer in all of our lives? And we would like to try to, you know, instill that in the, in the kids, you know, that that's the one thing that they need to turn to. You know, the person that they need to turn to is Jesus Christ, you know, in their time of need, no matter what they're dealing with. We go back and reference that if they're having an anger problem, if they're having a temptation or, or anything that they're, they're struggling with. Problems at school, take it to the Lord. He's going to be the first one to help you out, and then everyone else can come along, right? The most important one that we talk about every year is salvation. And we can't just skip over that. And I, I think everybody can agree with that one. Um, it, you know, why is it so important to us as believers? It, it's what Christ has done for us. You know, he shed his blood for us. He's died for us. He rose again. That's something that we, uh, you know, as, as leaders and, um, the, you know, to... to uh, try to do our best to explain that to the kids in the best possible way. Um, it's a little bit different than explaining it to adults, but I think they get it. At least I hope they do. And a reference real quick to <laughs> Ben with your song. Um, I think that goes hand in hand to what we were talking about. So... I had three verses that I wanted to, uh, uh, to mention that kind of takes us back to our theme for this year, Back to Basics, and then I'll, I'll want to wrap it up. Proverbs 22.6. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. It begins here. It begins at church in Sunday school class. It begins at our kids' clubs program. That's where the training happens, okay? Ephesians 6, 4. And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Wow, that's another good one. And I think sometimes we have to remind ourselves um, as parents what our calling is. Whenever we're... What our calling is raising up our children. Uh, 
Uh, 3 John 1, verse 4, I have no greater joy. Sorry. Than to hear my children walk in truth. I didn't know I was going to get this emotional. I apologize. But I tell you, <clears throat> what these kids do to you. And I know that we have some former leaders in here of our club's programs that could probably attest to that. Um, kids' clubs and different various versions that we've had throughout the years. Yeah, youth group. Whether you've you've taught for many of years, whether whether you've filled in, um, in term situation, you understand. And when you're a parent, and you're bringing up those those kids, that last verse means a lot. It's when you can. When you can see that. They've gotten out of high school, they're in college, or out of college, and they're coming back. And they're doing this type of stuff right here with us. They're asking to help. What can I do? I mean, somebody's done something right. You know, we can't take the credit as parents, um, even though we like to. Um, but where the credit goes is to all of you that help out here in church in all the different programs. So I want to say thank you to the ones who continue to help, the ones who have helped in the past, in years past, because you can see a lot of the teenagers and the ones who are adults now, married with children. Not a reference to the TV show. <clears throat> but you can see that that is what uh, uh, God is doing. He's working in all of our lives. So, again, that was back to the basics. We hope that we can instill those stories into our kids, your kids.